Have you ever wondered why silver prices might not be increasing while gold prices are? The answer lies in a complex web of factors that influence the market dynamics of these precious metals. So, buckle up as we delve into the fascinating world of silver and gold. Firstly, let's consider the overall market dynamics. The lack of significant upward movement in silver prices can be attributed to a combination of oversupply, reduced industrial demand, and waning investment interest. When there's an oversupply of silver on the market, prices naturally stagnate or even decrease. Similarly, when industrial demand for silver reduces or when investors lose interest, prices may remain static. Output Secondly, the industrial and non-monetary uses of silver play a crucial role in its pricing. Back in 2019, a staggering 81% of the silver supply went to non-monetary uses. This includes industrial applications, jewelry, silverware, and the solar industry. If there's a decline in economic activity, demand for these uses would likely decline as well, impacting the price of silver. Thirdly, history has shown us that silver's price behavior during crises is quite different from that of gold. When the stock market crashes, it's historically normal for the silver price to decline. This is in stark contrast to gold, which often sees price increases during such crises. Fourthly, silver's performance during economic slowdowns is worth noting. Over the last seven recessionary periods, the silver price fell in five of them and only rose in two. This is yet another factor contributing to silver's price stagnation when compared to gold. That said, it's important to remember that despite being precious metals, gold and silver don't always move in tandem. They have different market dynamics, different uses, and they react differently to global economic events. So, it's not unusual for gold prices to rise while silver prices remain stagnant. However, this doesn't mean that silver prices will never increase. Market conditions can change, and historical trends do not guarantee future performance. So, keep an eye on the market dynamics, industrial demand, and global economic events that might impact silver prices. In conclusion, the price of silver is influenced by its oversupply, reduced industrial demand, its historical behavior during crises, and its performance during economic slowdowns. These factors explain why silver prices might not be increasing while gold prices are. Remember, the world of precious metals is fascinating and complex, and it's always wise to consult with a financial advisor for personalized advice.